I'm going to go over the second part of the Prelude in F Minor by Bach, BWV 881 from Book 2 of Well Tempered Clavier. And you can see my hands, and I'll be naming the keys that the composer um, traverses from measure 29 down to the bottom, 48, 48. So he's modulating over to, he's going into A flat major at the point of measure 29. And I'm going very slowly so I can talk very loud and say what the keys are and all this other meanderings that are going on. So we have the A flat major fairly brought out. It says forte. Maybe it's intensified because it's major, or before it was very, very somber in the beginning minor. Going very slowly. Those are the appoggiatories. So you want the lean less. Now he's modulating. So he went from A flat major to E flat minor. That's very interesting because A flat major would be the major four chord of E flat minor. We don't usually find a major four chord in a minor key, but that's all right. It's very interesting. He's not going to stay in the E flat minor. He's going now into B as in boy flat minor. So we come out of this cadence in E flat minor. There. Now E flat minor happens to be the subdominant key of B as in boy flat minor. It happens to now go into B flat minor. So I'm going to just play it so you can hear. It's going to have that cadence right here in B flat minor by suspension. There it is, B flat minor. Suspension is a minor second resolving to a minor third. So what you're going to have to do here is make sure stay in B flat minor. He is going to do an answer to this little portion of B flat minor, or a sequence, I could say, now in the key of back to E flat minor. And here he goes. And I lift my hand. First suspension was a close, closer suspension, a closer interval. When he did this, he went from a minor second to a third. When he goes into the other key of E flat minor, he's going to have a suspension broadened out with a seventh. If you invert a seventh, you get a minor second. But he just wants to open things up here. So far, we've had A flat major, we've had E flat minor, we've had B flat minor, we've had E flat minor. It's interesting to map those keys out. So we're going to backtrack a little here again. A flat major. left hand, this is measures, you have to keep track of the measures, 32, end of 32, going to 33, that's a diminished chord of B flat minor. And 
another diminished chord, you know, you can move diminished chords into different positions. Diminished to B flat minor again. But now, now watch this bass line. Going to E flat minor, E is an Edward flat minor. So what we see there is a melodic a bass minor, melodic minor of E flat minor would be this, raised sixth and seventh, right here. So we can't ignore that. We can't ignore what's happening here. Change key. minor in the bass. So again, E flat minor. Answer in E flat minor. Here comes that melodic left hand. D. Major seventh falls into the sixth. E flat minor. Okay, now that is not going to stay in E flat minor. Is going back to B as in boy flat minor, and we can listen to the bass. This would be Re, Fa, Mi, Fa, Sol. Here comes the melodic in B flat minor. Here it is. And a full cadence in B flat minor. Re, Sol, Mi, Fa, Sol, Sol. This hand, if you do the solfege and you're in B flat minor, that's measure 35, 36, the end. the left hand is doing Upstairs into the solfege, we have a movable do. This would be do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. La, sol, fa, la, re, fa, la, do, ti. I'm not singing solfege. But you can still know this is the sixth note of A flat, the fifth note of A flat major. You know, you're, you're already in the key of A flat. You can figure out the note. The left hand is doing an interesting bass. You can hear what's happening. Dominant seven against this. Now the sequence is going to be in D as in David flat major. D flat major because he's going to introduce a G flat here in this sequence.
happens now is a lot of sort of secondary dominoes where they don't resolve. They keep going to sevens by half step by chromatics. This is an interesting one. Many, many keys. To summarize, A flat major, start, top of the page. 